A future law student gets a crash course in public safety when she's arrested, she says, for asking questions at a bus stop. Good evening, I'm Deborah Knapp. And I'm Jeff Goldblatt. The 25 year old UTSA student tells the I team police didn't like the way she parked her bike as she waited for a bus. And so an officer hauled her off to jail. Her arrests all caught on video. Joe Conger and the I team have more. Joe? That's right. Abby Kyle is of Nigerian descent. She says police officers referred to her as the Nigerian nightmare as they booked her into the pokey. She did not tell them, but what they didn't know was that she was actually a student studying law enforcement and she was actually out there admiring their work. For 25 year old Abby Kyle, a criminal justice major, the police speed trap along 281 was fascinating. So she took pictures and began to share them. I put it on Facebook. I told my friends, this is where our funding is going, straight into hard police work. And then later on, what happens? What happens next puts the UTSA student in shock. You can't just arrest me for sitting okay. at a bus I stop. I don't want to hurt you. So I'm, I'm on my way to the grocery store. Ma'am, you're going to go to jail if that's going to happen. Okay. Move your you're already going to jail, okay? Okay, well, I'm recording this. That's I keep fine. talking. I'm Abby went talking from to waiting for a bus to I'm riding in the back of a squad car. She says it began when an officer told her to remove her bicycle from the driveway because she was a traffic hazard. Right Abby here. says she complied, putting the bike and herself inside the curb at the bus stop. She continued to shoot video with her phone, capturing what she calls harassment. What's the traffic violation? Blocking the side I'm of the 12, driveway. I'm 12 inches within okay. the curb. I'm not, are you not going to do it? Am I not 12 inches within no, the curb? Are you, you're not, it's not the if curb. You, okay, okay, then what is it? Let me see your ID, please. No. Let me see your ID. No. Abby says she was dragged by her hair along with her bike into a squad car, but not before suffering bruises that kept her out of school for a week. And it wasn't just wounds to her body. I've never been so dehumanized in my life. Ironically, Abby was once an intern at the Bear County District Attorney's Office. She may be making a visit to her old office space soon right to watch now. the wheels of justice from a different yeah. perspective. Get off of me, I want my lawyer. So normally you just get a couple of citations on the street. She got those, but then she was arrested for failure to identify to a police officer. That's a charge that she says officers took four hours to come up with while she was sitting there waiting in custody. She's complained to police internal affairs and San Antonio police have confirmed there is an investigation now underway. As for the bike, that's her only transportation to UTSA along with her laptop and her school books. They were confiscated. They're still in the property room until she can pay to get them released. With the I-Team, I'm Joe Conger, Kins 5 Eyewitness News. You want some more? Check it out online. We do have her videos. You can be the judge yourself.